Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to, well I guess it's Surviving Mars. Um, this is the 1075% difficulty uh, uh, game. Now, uh, we're well underway with the uh, mystery, which is the wildfire mystery. Now we're going to need to grow uh, cure tatoes at some point, which means we're going to need farms. And uh, I'm going to actually get some farms uh, installed uh, in this uh, this episode. Now, we don't necessarily have enough workers yet to run them. We do, however, have enough dome space to acquire them, so uh, we're not not in a, a bad bad shape. Now, I only know about the cure tatoes bit because I've uh, run through this mystery previously, and that's going to. Uh, that's going to be, uh, well, the, the mystery's not going to impact us nearly as much as uh, it would if we still could bring colonists in from Earth and so on. But it will affect us. Uh, and with endemic infection on uh, Earth, uh, we have some uh, potential issues. It's progressing. So, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is start time. And then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to build the farms. And I'm going to find that under here, I believe. And farm. And uh, I'm going to put... I'm going to put three... I'm going to put four farms in here. Now, what I'm going to do with these farms is... Uh, is uh, grow, some, grow crops that improve the uh, soil. Because the cure tatoes are going to clobber the soil when they're grown. Uh, now we do we do need to research the wildfire cure uh, first, but we're that's underway, so uh, that's uh, that's not uh, a big issue. Uh, we need to go in here, and we are going to grow. Uh, that increases by ten. Yeah, we're going to grow uh, soybeans in these. Yeah. Because uh, wheat doesn't increase the soil quality. Uh, but uh, soybeans do. Uh, now that's going to mean that we have some uh, uh, open work slots. Uh, and that's fine. Because uh, we just need to get... Uh, now, how's our uh, workforce in here? Um, right, well, uh, I think I'm also going to need a uh, uh, apartment complex in here. Um, let's... Um, let's go with that one. Just for giggles. Whoops. Um, okay. Oh! Um, farm automation. Uh, that's under here, is it? Oh! Hey! Farm, hydroponic farm, and fungal farm. Upgrade. Automation. Decreases number of workers. Uh, okay, we're going to do that, and then we're going to, what's this? And then we're going to put the wildfire cure back over there, right? Okay. Now, what do we have for cash? I could outsource some. Uh, that's um, potentially a questionable thing to do. Okay, we got lots of children coming up the uh, coming down the pike here, uh, so yeah, we're not going to have problems with the labor force now that we've got uh, the children going. So I remember a few episodes back, we got the hanging garden spire, and that made all the difference. Um, okay, what have we got in here? Uh, renegades. Um, right. And probably an idiot. 
Uh, right, okay. Uh, you can come back down. Right? Uh, apologies if you can hear the, uh, the noise in the background. Uh, it's windy here today. Uh, we got a Chinook thing blowing, and uh, those things are always uh, fun, right? Uh, for some value of fun. Uh, now, you might think at this point that we basically won the game, right? Uh, but there's still uh, events that could uh, take us out. Like the, um, the uh, uh, mystery could still cause us some pain. And, uh, well... There's, uh, right, because the, uh, until we get the cure Tato's going, uh, our colonists are potentially going to keep, um, uh, dying, right? And, uh, and that's going to, uh, hamper things. Uh, so, yeah, that's, uh, that, that's a, a potential issue. And there are some random events that could pop up that could cause us a little bit of pain. But, at this point, it looks like we've basically conquered things. Unless we get something really, really nasty. Uh, what have we got in here? Um, starving Colonist 5. Okay, two, three, four. Right, they're all in there. Um, okay. Um, what? Okay, whatever. Uh, okay. Now these guys... Well... They apparently have enough uh, enough uh, uh, workers that uh, uh, they're actually doing something, so that's good. Uh, soil quality is at 50%. We want to get it to 100%, right? Uh, oh, we got a meteor storm coming and a great dust storm. Oh, that could... See, the dust storms are the thing that could uh, cause us some real pain. Uh what are you waiting for? Um, okay, let's um, let's go up here. Uh, waiting for scientists, and you need botanists. And that's research progress. Okay, well we'll send the expedition there. Okay. Right. Uh, so doing that, uh, we'll get some research progress. And, uh, you know, that'll be helpful. Uh, and then I think... Uh, okay. We're... Uh, we're using more water than we... Uh, well, let's upgrade the water extractors. Uh, if we do that, then I think our water supply will not be negative anymore. Um, 2,000 research. Yeah, could have been better. Could have been worse. Uh, okay. There's always a chance that your rockets can... Uh, just vanish or whatever on these uh, expeditions. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's always uh, some sort of... Uh, um, risk uh, when, you, uh, when you do things like that, right? Um, what I'm going to need to do, I think, ultimately... Wait, which... Uh, oh! Oh! There's a big metal deposit here. Nice! Nice, 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 nice. Uh, okay. 
I was wondering uh, what we would do when that metal deposit ran out. Now I don't need to worry. We'll have to build a new metal extractor, of course, but that's all we'll need to do. Uh, what I'm thinking I should probably do is start getting some sort of atmospheric thing going. Oh, right. Uh, land the rocket. Uh, we're, we're waiting for scientists there. Uh, ultimately, we'll get them. Uh, but uh, what are we training here? Uh, well, it's going to be going for engineers and botanists first. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, yeah, we, we, can, uh, we can do that. Uh, what is that anomaly, though? It's... Uh, Uh, research progress. Okay. Well, we just about run out of anomalies, so, you know, that's fine. We'll probably want to capture meteors at some point. What's this one? SETI, that's expensive. Yeah, okay. Close. Right, uh, so... Uh, we uh, continue uh, ticking along here. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll keep ticking along here, and we should be okay. I'm gonna need more food storage. Uh, okay, so we'll uh, stick a depot for food. I don't know. We'll stick couple of them there. Uh, right. Uh, okay, now, what I wanted to check is... Uh, is it here? GHG factory. That's what we're doing now. Carbonate processor we don't have. Right, we're uh, raising the temperature. That's uh, that's what we're doing uh, right now. Um, that's all we can do right now, uh, which is fine. Uh, we're going to get a great dust storm, though. That could be entertaining, let's just say. And a meteor storm at the same time, so that's kind of different. Uh, but it's fine, though. Uh, different, but fine. Uh, we're making some sort of progress on, uh, on the wildfire cure, at least. Now here, ah, uh, we've got all three shifts open there, so, uh, yeah. Okay, so we're up to 175 colonists, uh, even though, oh, we got 35 children? Oh, my. Um... Yeah. Yeah, that's um uh rather a lot. Uh okay. 71 of 80 there. 102 of 128 there. Um what spires do I have? Spires. I have arcologies and a network node. Arcologies are house 32 people. They look kind of cool. You know what? I'm going to stick an arcology up here. Uh, that will give me uh, residential space equivalent to basically uh, what? Uh, one and a half, one and a third apartments, uh, basically. So, that will, uh, will certainly, uh, assist in, uh, uh, living space. Oh, look, it's filling in. Right. Uh, okay, so so that's um, 
arcologies, uh, an arcology there. Uh, right. One wonders just how much the people living up in this part uh, enjoy the view outside the dome. Uh, right. Okay, so... So far, so good. This is... Uh, yeah, that's just taking along. Yeah, so we should be, uh, should be mostly okay here for the, the, for the uh, meteor storm and the dust storm. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just tick through that. Uh, the question is, how long is the dust storm going to last? Uh, well, the meteors are here. Um, what got clobbered? Oh, we'll rebuild that. Um, I think perhaps we should build another one of these. I don't know, over here? Um, yeah, probably. Uh, right, okay, up the tempo again. Yeah, that's fine up there. Okay. Maybe we can get some anomalies out of these. Okay, the lasers are functioning. Um, right, this laser needs to uh, get online. Whoosh. It's online. Uh, a dome got hit. Um, we do have the polymers to repair things. What got... Uh, oh, just a bunch of solars uh, got clobbered. Um, right, so we have the polymers to repair the domes if they get hit. So that's okay. Um, right. Uh, right. Maybe we'll get an anomaly. We should be so lucky. Um, right. Uh, the dust storm will be done in two sols, so it's not as long as it could have been. Right. Oh, the experiment. You're... A scientist barges into your office. They have an important climate. Uh... Quick to sh da 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 da. Uh, we'll do it far away. Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely do the the research far away. Um, really, we're low on those. Uh, no, we're not actually low on those just at the moment. We'll rebuild these after the, uh, after the, uh, meteor storm is done. And the reason for that is they could just get clobbered again, right? Uh, I see the, uh, we got some metals came in from the... Uh, meteor, so that's uh, quite significant. Um, yeah, so, you know, we're okay there. Uh, I think the meteors have moved on past the colony for the most part. Uh, that's okay. Oh, we're down to nine, uh, nine unemployed. Uh, 
are nine uh, nine jobs. So you should be almost full. Yeah. These guys are soaking up workers. Yep. Uh, you. You can take another shift, I think, now. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's okay. Um, we got, uh, 22 hours left in the meteor storm. You know what? I'm going to... Uh, rebuild. 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 Okay. Rebuild. 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 And rebuild. Okay. That should... Uh... Okay, where? Oh, way over there. No, we should be fine. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. We got through there without getting, uh, clobbered, so... Yeah, we should be okay. I don't see any anomalies having popped up, though. So, um... Right. Well, we'll, uh, definitely let things, uh, continue on here. Uh, right. Now, we have a ma we have 40 children. Huh. I'm half thinking... Um, we'll disallow births in that dome. Uh, otherwise our population is going to get way too high too fast. Um, right. Uh, so we'll do that. Uh, meteor storm's done. Dust storm is almost done. Let's uh, check in on the farms. 60% soil. Yep. Um, right. Uh, and we're done with the dust storm. Uh, so that should sort our uh, power shortage out. And, okay, what's... Uh, eh, we'll rebuild the sensor tower too. Uh, okay, good. Uh, right. Uh, now, we can get the, uh, well, let's, uh, check in on the, uh, university. Now we're down to needing, uh, 13 botanists and 12 engineers. So that's, uh, that's, uh, should be what we're, we get out of here. And we're training... 15 people in there, so that's good. Uh, we have eight open work slots. Um, okay. Okay, so our uh, buildings are all repaired. Uh, we're up to 17% temperature. Uh, we want to get that up to, I think it's 50%, and this up to like 90% or something like that. Then we can open the domes, and then basically most of our problems are solved, or something. Um, so we're producing 8 per sol. That should be catching up now. That should be catching up now. Eh. 
And you are machine parts. You are electronics. Okay. Yeah, we're just a little bit short on uh, people there. So, yeah, we should be should be producing enough of that to catch up at least. Uh, wildfire, the cure. Okay. Uh, tremendous news. Cure for wildfire disease has been discovered. A strain of Martian wildfire. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Uh, most effective way. This is uh, good news. Colonists with the infected trait will be cured permanently after their first visit to a medical building. Okay, now we can grow cure tatoes. Let's take a look in here. Cure tatoes. They drop the soil quality by 30%. Okay. Uh, infection level epidemic. Okay. Um, okay, so we'll... Um, We'll go in here, and we'll uh, add cure potatoes there, and soybeans here, and cure potatoes here, and soybeans there. Uh, cure potatoes, soybeans. Cure potatoes. Okay. What I need to do is go in the science. And uh, uh, I think we want gene adaptation. Um, uh, Yeah, and this one, no. Yeah, we need to do gene adaptation because that gives us some uh, crops that can uh, uh, improve the uh, uh, situation. And what I'm going to do is go in here and grab couple of research labs over here. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's probably as many as we actually want because there is a diminishing return on those. Um, right? Uh, but uh, I'm pretty sure that those are a particularly uh, uh, useful uh, thing to do. Uh, now, something I want to check on here. Do we have a uh, depot for storing cure potatoes? We do. Uh, okay. So, so if I put a couple of those over here, then... Uh, then we can definitely uh, do that. No, we're not going to put those there. We're going to um, put the uh, Cure Tatoes Depot over here. Because we're going to la land the Cure Tatoes uh, rockets here, right? Uh, so. Uh, but we should end up with uh, a lot fewer um, 
infected uh, types uh, now. Uh, okay, we're down, just about down to uh, training. We're training scientists now. Uh, okay. So in here, how many scientists? We have two. Uh, we just need a third one, and I think, and that one will take off. What are the requirements? Um, three scientists, yes. Uh, okay, so so there's that. Um, hypothermia. Troubling. We're out of power, I see. Well, what we're going to do is uh, uh, go in here and build... Eh, we'll build another one of these or two. One. Two. Yep. Um, yeah, because we, we definitely got the production of machine parts that we can uh, maintain those. And they're producing 40 power, so... Um, right. So I think it's these. Uh, we're going to open uh, the work shifts up here. And uh, here. Uh, yeah, the work shifts are open. Uh, so I definitely want to get... Uh, um, celebrities, huh? Uh, so I definitely want to get the, uh, the research ticking along there. We got our scientists for the... Uh, uh, anomaly, so that's good. And, uh, yeah, we should, uh, now, are you, what are you on? Soybeans. How long do they take? Five souls. Okay. And these take five souls. Yeah. 2,500 research. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, right. So far, so good. Now, uh, uh, our rocket's almost back, so there's that. And we've got uh, more power online. I think... I'm not sure. Sometimes I think. Uh, right, yeah. Uh, building's not working. Right, we uh, definitely need more power. We need to land that. And we're going to... Uh, well, first of all, we're going to run a power cable out to here. Right? So we'll do that. Uh, and that'll get us a little bit. And then, uh, I think... Oh, gene adaptation, right. Uh, let's uh, down-tempo things here, and let's uh, go check in on the farms. Now, what can we replace this with? What have we got here? Quinoa, no. Wheat, no. Corn, decrease. Apples, plus 10%. Apples take 8 sols. Soybeans take 5. Eh... Yeah, that's not going to uh, improve things all that much now, is it? Uh, right. So let's uh, just go in here and take a look what other uh, things we have here. Well, we've revealed almost all the research now. Um, okay. Nope. 
Domeless farming. Hmm. Uh, artificial landscaping. Yeah, that might be good one. Vegetation grows faster. Uh, right. Drones work faster. Seeds. Uh, okay. That's a quick research. Seeds. Uh, what's this one? Vocation oriented. Nano refinement. Right. I want to get nano refinement. Um, uh, schools. Right. Metals for. Pre okay. Yeah, that could be good. Um, right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we don't have the uh, really cool uh, crops research, which uh, would be really, really nice, but we're not going to get it. Okay. Um, what's this? Yeah, that's not uh, terribly helpful. Um, well, uh, drones are faster. We don't need that. That one could be good, though. Yeah. Uh, we want low G turbines. Uh, okay. Uh, right. Okay. So we've got... Uh... Okay, so we're gaining 179 extra during the day. Let's uh, up tempo things here. Um, yeah, we're uh, rocketing through research now, uh, which uh, is kind of what we want to do. Um, Okay, um, good. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we have, uh, yeah, so we're, we're at 179, and then overnight we go to minus 146. So, uh, we should be catching up on, uh, on things, and by the time the low G turbines thing comes in, we can upgrade these, and we'll get another, one, two, three, four, five, six, another 20 power, I think, or another, no, six times 40, another 80 power. Uh, so that would be uh, that would be good. Now you, I need more production of uh, uh, electronics. So I'm going to go in here. Small. Okay, I have a full size electronics factory I could build, but I have the resources. I can build a small one. So I'll do that. Because uh, I'm definitely going to need it, so I'm going to build it. Uh, low G turbines. Okay, so if we go in here, uh, polymer blades will do that. Uh, and that should get us much better off on the power situation. We didn't run out of power overnight that time, so that's good. Uh, okay, so now we're... Uh, Okay, 
Okay, we only have five vacant work slots, so that's uh, a thing. Uh, right. Uh, okay, yeah, we did low G turbines. Now we're working on farm automation, which we can ditch because we have the uh, workforce. So, uh, what would be a, uh, um, Um, water conservation system. That would be good. Uh, take that out. Uh, definitely want to get those as well. Um, yeah. Okay, I definitely want those. So I'll uh, I'll do that. And we have a cold wave coming. Okay. So we definitely uh, needed to get our power situation improved. Um, are we currently running our uh, subsurface heaters? We are. Okay. Uh, we should be fine there then. Uh, how is that doing? It's not... It's not going down. Why? That one's going down. Okay. That's interesting. Either way, we're good. Uh, for quite a while on metals, so yay. Um, right. Uh, got a cargo rocket coming for cure tatoes. Are we growing any of them yet? Not yet. Uh, soil quality, 70%. 70, 70, 70. So we'll be at an 80% for those, after those. And then uh, cure potatoes take a while to grow. Right. Okay. So, so we've got that. Um, right. Okay. We need to get concrete. Uh, right. Okay. So we're going to go over here. Uh, slow that down. Go in here. And, uh, concrete extractor it over here. Cold terrain. Can we reach that without cold terrain? No. No, we can't. Okay. But we can chuck that in there and we can run a power cable. Uh, power cable. Power cable. Yep. Yeah. Uh, from here to here. Yep. Yeah. And then, I think that's in range. So, yeah, that's all in range. Okay. So, we'll get the, uh, extractor operational there. And, uh, that should, uh, that should get the uh, concrete uh, situation sorted out uh, for a little while. Uh, and then we'll probably need to get grab that one. But uh, meanwhile, uh, let's go into the science thing. Uh, we'll get moisture farming. Uh, no. Uh, do I... Nano refinement. No, we're going to go for nano refinement first. Um, then I can start these uh, uh, closed uh, concrete extractors and we can grab a couple per, uh, uh, per sol from each of them. And uh, that would definitely be helpful as well. 
Uh, at some point, we want waste rock uh, processing as well, uh, and that would uh, that would definitely uh, help out with uh, a lot of things. Now here, um, we're growing cure potatoes next uh, up there, and there, and there, and there. So cure potatoes give us ten. Okay. Uh, we need more farms. Um, I think I can actually get rid of that ranch and stick a farm there. Yeah. I think I can do that. So we'll go in here. Uh, we'll uh, chuck in a farm there. Yep. Yeah, that's going to use up concrete. Yay. Uh, but our concrete extractor here is online. So uh, we're uh, accumulating concrete. That's good. Uh, what we're going to need, I think, is a uh, one of these, though. Oh, there's already one over there. Uh... Safer together. A rocket with 50 refugees aboard is inbound to Mars. Okay. Well. We can definitely deal with refugees. Um, that's uh, an interesting uh, problem. But I'm going to need a... I'm going to need a dome. Um, yeah, I'm going to need to get some resources, uh, uh okay, you can, uh, run all three work shifts, uh, right, okay, so, uh, these are improving, ah, the, uh, rare metals extractor will, uh, uh, will uh, benefit from uh, the uh, nano refinement thing as, as well. Uh, okay, so this is the uh, Cure Tato rocket, which we're going to land right here. It's going to take a while before we have any. Um, you are going to grow uh, soybeans. Soybeans, cure potatoes. Okay. Okay, we are now growing cure potatoes there and there. Oh, right, you're fueling. Okay. Um, right. Uh, right, we're going to need another uh, water extractor on this deposit, I think. Requires a deposit. Why isn't that seeing it as a deposit? Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to get that sorted out with uh, this salvage. Okay, now we go in here. No, we go in here and in here water extractor stick that there uh, go in here uh, we got the cold wave right um, 
power uh, cable. Uh, that, okay, that connects. That connects. Uh, okay. And uh, we need a pipe. Pipe. Uh, okay. Up to there. Yep, that will connect. Uh, okay. That should. Uh, we'll put the amplify on there. Yeah, we've got enough water in there. Uh, okay. Uh, right. Uh, we're gonna... The cold wave is only a sol and a bit, so we should be fine. Um, you... Yeah, we're... We're halfway through the cure tato thing. Uh, okay, so now we're positive on water. Now it's just a matter of, uh... Well, I guess, uh... Uh, dealing with the uh, refugees. And that is going to be a problem for the next uh, episode. So I'm going to stop time, and uh, that's going to be all for this time. So stay healthy. Uh, don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. And see you back next time.